When being a YouTube creator, it's very important to have the right amount of light in your shot. And sometimes having a flashlight just isn't an option. So in this video, we're going to build a camera light that will allow you to make amazing shots just like this one. Without any further to do, let's get this video started. So we're going to start with the PCB but as it is a fairly complicated process and I want to keep this video short, I will not be including that footage in this video but I will be making a full tutorial in the future. So we're going to start with all of the necessary soldering connections for our power wires and LEDs. After that I checked all of the polarities of all of the LEDs and started soldering them one by one onto my homemade PCB. After that was complete, I checked all the LEDs to make sure they're still functioning after the soldering process. Perfect, you can't even see it. After soldering all of the necessary wires and connections to our boost converter and giving it a quick test, it was time to prepare our enclosure by cutting a small hole with the Dremel to mount our 1S protection board. Then I drilled two holes to mount our 100k ohm potentiometer and an on off power switch. After that was complete, I hot glued in our 1S protection board, then I checked all the voltages on each of the cells to make sure they match. I gave it some hot glue to secure them to each other, and then it was time to solder them in parallel. After that was complete, it was time to solder in all of the necessary wires and connections in our circuit. Also, I had desoldered the 100k ohm potentiometer and removed it as we will be using the one I installed in the enclosure earlier. After gluing in the battery with some hot glue, it was time to actually figure out how are we going to mount the LED lights to our enclosure. So I came up with this. Uh, we're going to take some 12 gauge copper wire and we're going to bend it in place to follow the radius of our circuit board. And then we're going to solder it to the circuit board and that copper wire will get attached to our enclosure. After mounting the whole assembly onto my tripod, it was clear that the light might not look that great, but Hey, it does what it's built for and it does it really well. Uh, the color of the light is just right and it's really easy to use as the knob is right by the camera and it makes your shots really sharp, uh, really colorful and it's just a great thing to have in your setup. So guys, that's it for this video. Don't forget to leave a like and maybe consider to subscribe if you like what I'm doing. Uh, also, another thing. If you stayed this long, right till the end, you might as well get something. So, I will tell you a secret about the next video that will happen on this channel. And the next video will be about YouTube's most powerful Tesla coil driver and it's going to be solid state. 
of course. So I hope you stay tuned. And yeah, there's just so many things that I want to do on this channel. And it will take time, but I'm getting there. So thanks for watching. And I hope to see you next time. Bye.